Hello there, welcome to episode 24 of the B-League and Jules. Amazing scenes in Adelaide at Cooper Stadium on Friday night. Big crowds and what a buzz. It was and no one was more excited than Adelaide United coach Josip Gombau. Have a look at this, he's celebrating a goal here. That is an impressive run. I put that up with Kathy Freeman's 400 metre uh, victory. I love his passion and I think the fans in Adelaide are loving his passion as well. They're Brilliant. calling it Gombau Wow. And good to see him, just like one of the players, getting involved and getting excited. I do think he overstepped the mark with his celebration for the next goal, though. This has gone about after the goal a few minutes later. I just think that's too far. As a coach, you should be setting an example. Yeah, and I like the Euro trunks, though, Sam. And in particular, though, I was disappointed with the way he was treated by security staff. He is the home coach, that's pretty heavy-handed in front of his home fans. I didn't realise Josip had that many tattoos. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of respect for Josip there. And you are asking me, Sam, earlier, you know, where does he get the passion yeah. from? Where does he get the run from? Well, it's a little-known fact that that's uh, in a village uh, near where it was born in Spain. Every year they have the running of the Gombau. We have some vision of it here. Is Look that where um, they, they run? Gombau is running after all the people in the town and telling them how shit their kids are at yeah. sport? Is your, that what it is? Your, so, your son's crap at squash. It's yeah. like everyone runs away from him. But your daughter's uh, a terrible softball player. That's the sort of insults he shouts out. Great tourism opportunity if you want to head to Spain. Maybe take your kids over there and they can have those insults in the flesh. Running of the Gombau. Uh, Sasha Ogonofsky is uh, one of the favourites uh, of ours here at the B-League and being doing a lot of hosting during yeah. the ACL. Let's have a look here. Here he is uh, during Tuesday night's game. Very authoritative. Yeah, he's uh, very much at home on camera. He's doing a terrific job. What's interesting, though, is he's now taken that to Sydney FC. He conducts a half-time show. So yeah. he presents in the change rooms. He's, actually, he's doing a Twitter poll at the moment. He's asking them to SMS, will Sydney FC make the finals? Yeah, it's good to see him get a word in without being interrupted by Bozza, though, which is why he's <laughs> taking it to the change rooms. You will pay from Bozza for saying that. Uh, let's keep moving, Jules. Uh, let's keep moving. One of the favourites also of the B-League is uh, Archie Thompson. Mm. We have haven't heard from Archie for a while, so let's check in with him. Last season, our B-League special report revealed major problems within the ranks at Melbourne Victory. Not one problem, not two, but 13. I actually scored 13 goals in a World Cup qualifier, so I'm in the world record. 12 years after the fact, Archie Thompson simply would not stop talking about his achievement. His teammates had had enough, so they broke rank and spoke up. I'm sick of you with a 13, Archie Thompson. The repercussions were lethal. We're currently speaking about our end-of-season trip. Boys are saying Vegas, Los Angeles. And guess where he wants to go? American Samoa. Absolutely ruthless. In just a few weeks, on April 11th, it'll be 13 years since that day. So we checked in with Archie to see if he's finally let go. It is the uh, 13th anniversary of the uh, game against Samoa and um, I've decided to put a little, little, little do together and I've, like, you know, I've, I've set out my table that I think that would, you know, just complement the theme. Archie claims he's merely responding to what his ex-Socceroo teammates want. This is going to go ahead because they want it to go ahead. It's, it's not me. I'm not pushing this at all. At the time of recording, not one player had agreed to attend the reunion. It's great that they still think about the 13 goals that I did score and that I have got a world record. And um, not many people can say that or take that away from me. Look, I, um, I'm really excited to get the boys back together. It's not very often do I, that I speak to those guys. Um, well, OK, I try to ring them on the 13th of every month. Archie has agreed to allow our cameras to follow the planning process as the anniversary party draws closer. And coming up on the next instalment, the phone calls begin. 13 rings. Hey, hey, Vidi. How you going, man? Long time. Is it Aurelio? Or is it Tony? And will they come to the party? Or are they busy? The answer to these cliffhangers and more next time on Archie 13. I can't wait to find yeah. out the answer. Is it Aurelio? Is it Tony? This is Who going to be it? huge. Um, look, Archie, we've got to say well done. I love his initiative. He's not getting the response he wanted. No. But that's why he just asked us if we could put out this hashtag of Archie13. He apparently wants you guys to send in ideas for the party, suggestions. Maybe, you know, you have some tips on how we could put it all together. So, Archie13, let's help him out because we love him. Yeah, April 11, it is not far away. We've been talking about uh, Yossip a little bit yeah. during this episode and he was the subject of last week's Golden Corn weight winner. This picture was sent in to us. Uh, have a look. He's eating twisties, holding a man bag, and Bruce was with me last week, Sam, and we asked for the best reinterpretation of that picture, and uh, this week's winner is Anthony Moon, who sent this in. Oh, life's pretty straight when your son's a shit goalkeeper. <laughs> well done to Anthony, and here is your personalised message. 
I'm Robbie Cawthwaite and I'd like to present this week's Golden Cawthwaite 2. Anthony Moon. All because you made, made the, the Gombau Gombau mean. Congratulations, Chef. Well done, well, Anthony. Yeah. Excellent work. And uh, Josip Gombau himself was pretty excited that he was a subject of the Golden Cornthwaite winner. Uh, let's cross back to Cooper Stadium. Have a look at this. He's going nuts. Oh, wow. He's <laughs> almost showing us his Golden Cornthwaite jewels. <laughs> he is absolutely loving That's it. That's the best usage of gold cam I've ever seen. <laughs> Money well spent, Fox Sports. <laughs> that is it for another episode of the B-Leaguers. So as we always say, good night, B-Leaguers. Good night, Roscoe Aloisi. This is the outro song for...